All right, welcome back to BetX. It is time for us to talk some NFL and how much confidence we have in our teams when we put these bets down. We're five weeks left of the season. It's week 14 coming up, and we are going to lock in to see which teams we feel more confident about, which teams we think, you know, because the landscape is kind of set right mm -hmm. now. We kind of have an idea on that. Two of our favorite categories, against the spread and over under. So we're going to give you our top three teams in against the spread and over under and why we feel so confident with them. Let's start with against the spread. EC, I'm going to you first. All right, my number three team against the spread are the New York football giants. They do a great job of keeping games close. Whether they win or lose the games, running the football, dominating that line of scrimmage, they keep games close. So I like them at 9-3 and three against the spread. I'm going to keep betting on the Giants. Next, the Cincinnati Bengals. What Joe Burrow is doing right now has been phenomenal. And he also has support from the defense. The defense is playing well. Uh, Joe Burrow, second in the NFL in passing yards and touchdowns. He and Jamar Chase are just getting started. I like the Bengals, number two. And my number one team against the spread. They're eight and four against the spread. The Dallas Cowboys. Dallas is starting to ascend. They're starting to hit their stride right now. Dak Prescott is finding his rhythm. They sprinkle in a little Tony Pollard and Zeke Elliott. And this defense is getting after quarterback. So I like what the Cowboys are doing. They're, they're a great team against the spread. I think they continue. All right. You know, I, I wanted to put the, the Cowboys in my list, too, and I did. I would have put them number one like E, but I'm a Giants fan, so I, felt, <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't feel compelled to do that. All right, so the Dallas Cowboys, as I alluded to, I have them in my list as well. They're covering the spread 66% of the time, and I... Again, I'm a Giants fan, but I really like that playmaking defense. They're number one in the NFL at fumble recoveries for touchdowns, number one in forced fumbles, top 10 in interceptions forced. We saw what they did to the Colts, who shouldn't be on primetime ever again uh, this past Sunday night. So uh, that's why I would go with the Cowboys as my number three against the spread team. Number two. Let's go to the New York Giants. Covering the spread 75% of the time, 15.2 points per game in the second half under Brian Dayball. That's number six in the NFL. And time of possession with Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones. 54.3% of the time, number four in the NFL. They're covering the spread very well. And part of the reason, because they're holding on to the ball. And number one, the Detroit Lions with Jared Goff, and DeAndre Swift and Jamal Williams, 70, over 70% 70, 70 of the time, they are covering the spread. One of the best offensive lines in the NFL, and I'm rolling with them uh, as my top ETS team. Okay. We, we kind of got a similar, similar things on our list, so I'm going to go to my against the spread. Number three, I got the Dallas Cowboys. They're 4-1 as a, as a home favorite against the spread, and they're 2-0 right now in non-conference games, and three of their next five games are up against the AFC, so I really like that, and they have been playing well, and, and they've been smacking teams, so it does, at this point, it doesn't matter at times what you put against them. It looks like they're going to cover, so I got my eye on them. Second, I got the Bengals, 9-3 against the spread. They really impressed me after what I saw against the Chiefs. They're 6-2 in conference games against the spread, and four of their next five games are against the AFC. So I really like that. My number one team is the New York Giants, 7-1 and one as an underdog. And I think the way Vegas is playing it, they're not going to be the favorites in a lot of games coming down the stretch, playing against the Eagles, playing against the Commanders, again, the Eagles twice in, in, in these last few weeks. So I like them to cover, especially the backdoor cover. Always watch out for that. <laughs> Let's go to those over-unders. What's your top three? Uh, my top three over-under teams. I'm going to start off with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The under has hit 83% of their games this year. Part of it is because they have a great defense. They're fast. They're physical. But the other part is their inept offense. They have struggling with the offensive line. Tom Brady hasn't really found a rhythm. I'm going to continue to bet the under on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Next, I have the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, they have hit the over in 58% of their games. And the reason I'm picking them on overs is because they put up a lot of points offensively. And defensively, where they create a lot of turnovers, they also give up the most yardage on the air in the NFL. So I, I, can't, I can't trust the defense giving up that many yards. And my last team, the Denver Broncos. Mm. I will bet under on the Broncos <laughs> until the wheels <laughs> fall off. 91% of their games have gone under. They can't score a touchdown. Under, under, under with the Broncos. 
Brandon Cooks no longer wants to play for the Houston Texans, but yet he's still forced to play for the Houston Texans. That's why they're my number three team uh, as, it, as it pertains to over-under, and I'm taking the under, which has hit. Uh, they're four, it's eight and four, eight times the under has hit. Uh, then I'm going with Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans. The under is eight, three, and one in their games. He hasn't had 100 yards rushing in four games. The offense is so bad that John Robinson their GM just got fired after A.J. Brown went off this past weekend. And number one is the same team I was just talking about before, the Detroit Lions, Jared Goff, Jamal Williams, who has the most rushing touchdowns in the NFL this season. Amon Ross, St. Brown, top 10 in receiving uh, receptions as well. An absolute stud offense. Their overhits a lot of the times. I like that. I like that. All right, for me, let's get to my top three first. Uh, at number three, we've got the Bears, 9-4 and four, with their over-under. and They're 8-1 and one after a loss, and I think they're going to be losing a lot more <laughs> coming down the uh, line. So I like that I like that uh, trend for them. Second, I love the Lions as well. I got them as, as uh, my number two, six and two in conference games. Four of their next five games are against the NFC, and they average 26.3 points per game. So I like them on the overs. And my number one are the Philadelphia Eagles. They're the number two scoring team in the league at 28.2 points per game. Six and one over record at home. Eight and four overall. They've been putting up a whole lot of points. Um, you hope that there's some slippage in their defense so that you can kind of boost that over, but I really like them for that. I like that 7-2. This is really great.